Coach Krause here. Today I'm going to talk about going upstairs. When we walk upstairs, it's important that we alternate or switch feet as we go up. Let me show you. I do my right foot, then I switch to my left foot, and then I go back to my right foot. Every time I go up a stair, I switch feet. Right, left, right. For a lot of people though, they have trouble switching or alternating feet. They sometimes lead with one foot. It looks like this. They step with this foot and then put the feet together. They step with that same foot, put the feet together, step with that same foot and put the feet together. They're always leading with the same foot. So the first step is to treat is to teach them how to step with the other foot. So You'll see today, I've got some tape on my shoe and tape on my leg. If you don't have tape, you can tie a bandana or a shirt to your leg. Just something to make sure that this leg looks different than this leg. And then you're going to have the student take a step with the other leg. This is the leg that they don't step forward. So you'll say tape foot and have them step on the step and then put their feet together. And then you'll have them switch. So you'll say other foot without tape and they'll put their feet together. And then again, you'll say tape foot and they'll step with that foot and put their feet together. Now, when you start out, you might need to actually physically help the student. So just saying tape foot might not be enough. You might actually have to pay, put your hand on their leg and push up on their leg to make sure that they step with that foot forward. So you might have to push a little bit and then have them step and then push on this foot and then have them step and then push on this foot and have them step. You might have noticed that when we were first trying that, that I had the student take a step and then put the feet together. And that's different than alternating steps. And that's because alternating steps is a little bit harder. So we wanna break it down and make it easier first. So when we're first trying it, we, we step with one foot and then put our feet together, step with the other foot, put our feet together, step with this foot and put our feet together. That's the first level. And again, you might need to put your hands on the student's legs. And it's okay when we're learning how to alternate feet, it's okay to hold onto a wall to do this, or hold onto a railing. I don't have stairs in my house, so I have to practice on the steps. But they can hold onto something for balance. That's okay at this level. Once they are comfortable switching feet like that, then it's time to get them to switch feet and alternate on each step, all right? So then it's time to do this. And you're gonna do it the same way. You're gonna cue them to step with a tape foot and then step all the way over here to the non-tape foot and then step with the tape foot. You can give them a few other cues by getting out your tape and putting it where you want them to step. So now I have two pieces of tape. I'm gonna take one piece of tape on this side of the step and put it there. I'm gonna skip this step and I'm gonna put the piece of tape on the next step after. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get the student to step tape foot on top of the tape. Then this leg is gonna go all the way over. And now we're gonna to try to get this leg, the tape foot or the tape leg to step on the tape, just like that. So again, this is level two, this is more advanced. Try to get them to step tape foot on the tape, then switch to the next step and tape foot on the tape. And just like the previous exercise, you might need to take your hands and push the leg up 
and then take your hands and push this leg up all the way here and push the leg up over here until they get the hang of it until you can just say tape foot on the tape step other foot on the other step tape foot on the tape step so hope that helps give it a try remember give your student lots of support at first it's okay if they hold on to something it's okay if you put your hands on their leg to give them a little extra support be patient and take it one level at a time remember the first step is step feet together switch feet feet together step feet together and then the next step after that is to alternate step 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 just like that so give that a try at home hope that helps Thank you.